little demonstration is here like that fan is on we can turn it off like that so what is it doing it's sending a signal like that turn on the fan and now you can turn off it's a toggle process to turn off this will turn on all the appliances and this is gonna just turn on the fan like that turn off and turn on for this project you are going to need an Arduino UNO or Arduino Nano you can use anyone you want and this is gonna be a brain of your project and everything is gonna hook up with it and your LCD, your geometer and everything and also that you're gonna need an LCD to and which will display what's going on which appliance is on or off and to control the contrast of an LCD you're gonna need a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer and the IR sensor and IR remote which is infrared remote and sensor and this sensor is gonna receive a signal from a remote and transfer it to the Arduino and this sensor has three pin signal ground and VCC as it mentioned so be careful while hooking up to the Arduino and moving on to the next part is relay module and AC appliances is also gonna connect it to it and we're gonna provide a signal from the Arduino and some jumper wires to connect everything together and these all all the components you are looking and you're gonna need it open the Google browser go to the website called tinkercad.com link is also given in the description go ahead and open it but keep watching this video and click on this sign in sign in using your social media i'm going to use my facebook account now you will see the 3d design on the left side and circuits click on circuits click on create new circuits on the right side you will see all the basic components let's bring in the Arduino UNO and control the contrast of the LCD we need a potentiometer of 10 kilo ohm you can change the value click on this uh, basic components and click on all on this drop down menu so here you will see the LCD and small breadboard as well moving on we are also gonna need uh, IR sensor here we go arrange the components like that here it is I have all the components arranged here let's
of this LCD. Now the connection of IR sensor. We can connect this 5 volt to the positive of rail of the breadboard here and change the color of wire and the ground wire as well. Change the color as well. Now the connection of IR sensor. Mm, you can the middle one is the ground pin. So connect it to the ground. This one is a VCC connect to the positive power volt. Change the color. And this one is the out. So it's going to connect with a naught pin. Or you can here as well change the color like so now the connection of LCD ground to the ground This one is also black and the red wire goes here. This is a VCC 5 volt. You can move down the LCD a little bit so you can have a proper arrangement. Like that. And, but if you are going to connect anything on a PCB, this wires will cross so i suggest you should do that this is more appropriate than having uh, wires on the side so let's delete them like that so moving on We need to connect the potentiometer like that. This one goes to positive and 
that one goes to negative and the middle one goes to v naught change its color as well now this one is cathode this will also connect to the ground but we are not gonna use here this one ground we use this ground change the color and this one is anode you have to connect the resistor of 220 ohm change the values and connect here and connect it with 5 volt here and it will look more cleaner than this and change their color as well now connect the R register select RS pin to R7 there you go and enable pin to R8 and RW goes to ground as well and D4 goes to 9 pin of the Arduino and T5 goes to 10 D6 goes to 11 and D7 goes to D12 these are the connection of an LCD you can move this red wire so that nothing gets in the way change the colors of these wires There you go. And the load, the relay module. I'm not going to use the relay module here. We have the relays. But these are not relay modules. So, this one is a 5 volt relay module. But next time i will tell you i will teach you how to make your own uh, relay module so moving on i will use all leds as a load that is turning on or off and bunch of resistors same value as before 220 ohm uh -huh.
going to be on. Change all the values. Now use this LED. The LEDs has anode and cathode terminals. So arrange those LEDs. And this one is anode and this one is cathode. So place one LED here. Place one LED here. Move. Place one LED. One here. And this one. this one here now connect all the cathode to the ground change their colors All the cathodes are connected to the ground of the LEDs and anode will be connected to 3, 4, 5, 6. These are the pins. And this will go here, but we need to use the resistor and a path like. like this one and also our resistor here or here that one here and another one Let's connect the resistor Let's make some arrangements like so And three pin will go here and also the resistor like that but if you want to make it more clear move it down a little bit there on here Some black ground pin, and this will connect here. Like that, and as you can see, all the load are connected, and LCD connections are also made. and we have connected the IR sensor and the load and Arduino we need a remote for that click on all the components and find the remote 
Here is the IR remote. For the code, I have here the code, a link to the code and also the schematic diagram. Also given in the description, go ahead and download it and upload this code. Just control all and control C to copy this code and make sure your these result values are zero into these values these values can be changed in according in every remote so if you want to check which one is which open the serial monitor and when you press the one and you will see you have ff30cf that means ff30cf this means fan is turned on and you are also seeing here on the serial monitor the f fan is turned on and also on the lcd uh, let me show you on the website here we have click on the code click on here and click on text click on continue and here you have to paste the code that you have copied this code okay you have pasted it here we have all the libraries that we want and uh, if your code doesn't run so make sure add the libraries from this method it like include IR and then include liquid crystal so these two libraries are added here you can remove these two if you want if it happens sometimes when you do that so click on start simulation and put let me move that to the side here we have and open the serial monitor as well here we have the serial monitor now i will press one and nothing is appear on LCD. We have FD. Zero eight seven seven. So we need to change these codes. Because of this remote has here. So let's press one two three and four we have and uh, also this one we have all the codes here so stop the simulation and copy this first code and paste it here like that and here you have to put this second one just copy and paste it go copy the third one and paste it here and copy the fourth one and copy the last one and paste it here now start the simulation again simulation has started so when I will click on one 
it shows fan is turned on but nothing on the LCD so we have to cha make changes on this code here or we can change the connection but it's gonna take a time so we can change the code here stop the simulation and just change this to 9 10 11 9 10 11 12 and now start the simulation again and you will definitely gonna get a result here on the LCD like that press 1 your fan is on press 2 bulb is on 3 AC is on 4 TV is on if you press this one all appliances are off this is a very nice project you can install in your house if you don't want to connect the LCD you can just make uh, define more pins and make some changes in the code and increase these values because there are other four five six seven these are also values here so you can use those one so click on all appliances off that's how you do it and you can also export the files or you can share or download the schematic schematic is downloaded there we have it thanks for watching and subscribe my channel